It's like the most satisfying thing in Brick Rigs! Whoa. Oh no! Yes! Yes! Ah! Uh. Yes! Hello, everybody, Grace Place, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. In the land of Brick Rigs, you can't spend all of your time being sad about your house and Lamborghini getting leveled by explosives. That kind of stuff is just very common. One thing I am sad about is the $600,000 a month insurance policy I have to take out of my stuff. Over here, we're going on a cruise. Okay, if we can't survive inside of the city, we'll just sail on the outside of the city. This is the SS Athena Static, I think it's called, by DZ Weird Swan. I wish you had an easier to pronounce name. This is a 10 thousand brick creation it says it's the biggest ship on the entire workshop i don't know if that's true or not but it is massive completely detailed inside let us where do you start with something like this let us start with the internal goo of the ship now imagine all this part will just kind of be like you know the stability and cargo and there have you yeah this is right at the bottom portion so let us go to the very first livable portion which is right here on the deck. Beautiful wood grain looking at us sideways through the little uh, hallways over here. What do we have? Is it all? Yep. This is what I was hoping for. Interiors and all. Got your eating gallery over here. Look. Oh, there's a surfer. There's <laughs> a little brick lady here to take your order. That's kind of cool. I didn't expect that. Got a, uh, got a Brickman over here serving up some delicious drinks. Probably Water Zero or maybe Vodka Zero. I don't know which one's more popular these days. Got a lovely pool table over here. This is, okay, so this is pretty neat. I like how there's little Brick dudes laying all over the place, having a good time. This guy out here is preparing to select a, uh, a winning, uh, pool cue. You got whatever, I, I don't, I don't know what potentially that is but over here we're gonna go ahead and uh, go even lower and what else what else is down here was that it for this particular area I think it may be yeah that's it for there so let's continue to go up up in the top what shall we find oh we're in second class okay these are the these are the slightly more pleb like individuals was that first class before it looked very fancy wherever we was before so I'm pretty surprised Let's, uh, let's see what life is like over here. A eh, decent sized room for you to have a good time in. No beds or anything like that, but considering we're already at 10,000 bricks. Right over here, you have the, uh, I don't know what this would be. Maybe security or a maid or D or something. I, I have no clue. But, uh, yep, still second class. Oh, man, there's a lot of area to this boat. Oh. Oh, wouldn't it be a shame if this blew up? Wouldn't it be a shame on my computer processor if this blew up? What, where are we at now? This third class? Oh, it's first class. Now we're at first class. Got it. Okay. So what kind of lifestyle? Oh, look at this. This is what, what the, what is that? Is that like a dumbbell? Or what, what am I looking at here? What, I, I'm not really sure if this guy just dropped something off or if he's using a shake weight or something. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway. Nice living quarters. There's a little desk over here with your chair in there, have you? And look at this. It's a lovely little brick family out on the uh, out on the deck over here, looking across the pavement-like landscape of what is soon to more than likely become a war zone. Can this ship protect a man on vacation? Right here is the name of the creator, by the by. Just because I, I know that I, I absolutely slaughtered his name. Inside, uh, this is another 6,000 bricks, by the way. So now we have 16,000 bricks. What does that say? Sitting on the... Uh, oh, fasten your seatbelt. Sitting in the, in, the, in the city map right now. So this is going to get very, very bad. Oh, we've got a laboratory. Why is this slowly sliding? It makes it very difficult for me to look around inside of this, inside of this plane while it's randomly gyrating to the side. I, can I throw on like a parking brake or something? There, the parking brake's done. Now you're not going anywhere. It's probably because these turbines are just moving by themselves. It is trying to move. This thing is desperately attempting to get free. I think it knows. 
I think it knows what's about to happen. So the plane is like, not today, Gray. I don't know if I have anything to say about it. Plane, you're getting run into the ship. There's no two ways about this. It has to happen. No smoking in the bathroom. It's actually a lovely looking bathroom. That was all I really wanted to see. I just wanted to see what the bathroom looked like. All right. So I don't know how easy it is to take this thing off. Or about, oh my God, this thing is huge. But we're about to find out. Now, I don't have a lot of space to take off because sadly there's a giant ship in the way. But I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to get off the ground with no big deal. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. It's like, a, it's, it's like, a, it's like the, the fitting of a glove, but, you know, in the sky of planes. Man, this thing glides pretty good. Let's see how it banks. Let's see. Now, the, the turning on these big planes is usually their downfall. But this one seems to turn pretty good. It also appears like you don't have to babysit the speed. It looks like once the uh, the thrusters are on, they'll they'll do their thing. Moving at like 12, 14 frames a second, the time has come. We're going for impact here, boys. 300 kilometers, 400 kilometers per hour. Can the ship take it? Will Gray have a good vacation? There it is, there's the impact. Yes! The ship is completely invincible. Look at this. The plane smashing into the side, but the ship just stops it. It's like the most powerful football tackle stoppage I've ever seen in my life. The plane is levitating in the air. Keck. <laughs> the plane is levitating in the air. This is almost like one of those animes where the guy like throws his entire body weight into a giant punch. And the other guy just puts up his hand and stops it. You know, like the giant shockwave of wind goes flying out the back. That's what I feel happened here. This is how much damage was done. Not even a scratch. Well, it's a scratch, but not that bad. Let's see if we can... Maybe something faster will do a little bit more damage. This is called the world's fastest lunch by Master of Confusion. It basically looks like a Jimmy John sandwich on some skis with giant thrusters on the back. Now, supposedly, this is only really made for the grid map. If this was used anywhere else, it would crash into something. Yep, that's the idea. Let me get rid of all the different dials over here. They, he says one tap with the throttle is all it takes, and then it's going like, it has a top speed of 20,000 kilometers per hour. I'll be the judge of that. Forward! Oh my god. What just happened? Did it just teleport through or did it crash through? I don't even know. It, it teleported through. There's no damage here. There's no opening. There's like an opening. No, that what? it didn't do that. It teleported through the ship. It had to have. There's no other way to explain this. Hold on. We need to see this in slow motion. All right. I went ahead and regenerated the ship. I got this thing back up here. We have to see how this goes. Because... It, I'm gonna have to slow it down because I have to know what in the hell happened here. How did this work? So it's flying along, probably going a bajillion miles an hour, okay? And right here, into the, oh, the impact. Okay, that was an impact. That was completely different. I think it was because we had it on slow-mo. Look at that hit. Wow. It is all about speed. For this kind of damage look at the damage the world's fastest lunch did can i get down here and see the side of this i wonder it's hard to see because it's on its side and i'm looking at the ground but it basically blew this entire wall off of the ship not bad fastest lunch holy crap good job all right we're gonna go from way back here and i got the gauges on so that we can see just how fast this thing is going Let's see if I can crash my computer. Here we go. So 600, 1,000. Okay. 1,800, 2,000. Oh, never mind. Apparently, there's a little bit of an arc right there. Oh, crap. Fastest lunch is gone. All right, let's try it from here. 1,200, 1,500, 1,800, 2,000. Okay. 25, 27, 3,000. 3,500. There's the impact, and it is like a nuclear missile going off. The computer just can't even deal with it. Oh, wow! <laughs> it blew the whole ship up! It, did it throw the ship, or did it legitimately blow the entire ship up? It blew the entire ship up, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 
Look at the particles. The ship is gone. Well, there you go. The most powerful weapon in the game is a Jimmy John sandwich. Oh, and just to let you guys know, we're going 420,000 kilometers per hour right now in space. I think I, I don't always keep these dials up, but I think that's the fastest I've ever launched a brick man into space before unintentionally. Sideways is back, and he has crafted for us something simply called mallet. It's job to smash whatever you put on the X into a pancake-like piece of polyurethane. But can it do it? Can it destroy anything that we put there? I think for this, we need something that's small, but has a lot of bricks in it. All right, the crash tester by Lazard is perfect for this. That license plate gets me every time. All right, let's go ahead and get in the seat. Go ahead and get over here. Now, supposedly, one bead will do it. Let's find out, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Um, you know, I, I I kind of expected the mallet to have been stopped by by the by the vehicle. I, I actually didn't expect it to just drive right through the heart of Mordor. How did it do it? Is it because it's like super heavy or? I mean, you. <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that it would be so easy. We've come up against cranes and, and plows and, and grinders, and a lot of them get stopped, but this just destroyed that thing. All right, we need to see this in slow motion to really understand. Look at the hood. To really understand what the hell just happened. I'm going to slow things down a little bit, even more. I'm going to slow it down a little bit more. And now we're going to do it. Now, it should do by itself. I should be able to kind of, like, move back. Woo! Oh, this mallet is incredible. Oh, the mallet is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Uh, hold on. All right, what happens if we stack two of them? Here we go. Oh, they're already starting to explode. Oh, it's like the most satisfying thing in brick rigs. <laughs> it seriously is. Because there is no stopping it. It literally is the unstoppable force. There's nothing that you can put in the way. How about how about the Doom Ball versus this thing? How about that? Doom Ball versus Mallet. Go. Oh, oh, the bricks. Oh, Lord. Okay. It's just barely going to catch it. Oh, oh, no. There goes the computer of sadness. Oh, it crashed everything. Ah. Oh, there's no one left. Yep. <laughs> You're seeing it. You're seeing it right now. Sancho is back. And he has this beautiful house that he made. Look at this. It's got a lovely grill with some burgers on it. You've got a nice little, um, this is your garage over here with some spare tires, a postal box. I don't know what that is. I think that's a shrub. It's either that or maybe it's like the, uh, the recycling bin or something like that. What is inside? More modern art. Sa Sancho really loves his modern art. And I gotta tell you, I do too. Lovely oven on the inside over here with your clock going upstairs. More beautiful, high-value art. This is like, this is something that uh, that the Kardashians would have in their house right over here. Very powerful. Lovely eye of, uh, of Sarnon looking at you over there. You got, I don't know what this is. Is this, is this like an easel where you're painting or is this supposed to be like a tablet or a computer screen? Oh, it's the Brick Rigs logo inside of here as well. Sancho, this truly is a beautiful house for bringing the hobbits to Isengard. But once you get to Isengard, you must die. Yes! <laughs> it cracked that house in half! It cracked it like an egg! Look at it go! I'm gonna tell you, even in slow motion, this thing is overpowered. Alright, I think I got it so it's on like the perfect part of the house. Ready? Here we go! Full speed! Blast it! Complete and utter destruction. Complete and utter destruction. What do you think? <laughs> you think we can get it to fit inside the mallet? Probably not. So someone, you, someone has to make this, but they need to make it this size. That's, that's the new mission right now. It has to be as big as this, but it has to be that object. 
So this, I think this is called like the Pyramid of Doom. This is by MNB369. And it is supposedly a massive, super heavy, very mobile flying pyramid. I, I think it's very simplistic because it's only like 2,000 bricks or something. All right, so let's see how well this thing flies. I don't even know. Oh, oh, it sounds like it's evil. That's for sure. Okay, I think it's taking off. All right, yep, we're up in the air. Okay. Well, let me, um, let me change my field of view a little bit. There we go, there we go. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do, Bricksville, when you see this hideous being slowly starting to amble over to you? Now, supposedly, all you have to do is use the, the sheer velocity and the weight in order to crap. I missed the buildings. In order to do your damage. Oh, oh it really didn't take that much damage. All right. What's stronger, a pyramid or a skyscraper? What do you boys think? If I can get this thing aimed down. Did I just miss the skyscraper? I totally missed the skyscraper. Oh, it's so hard to hit when you're in a pyramid, man. Now this is a scary visage. Pyramid versus skyscraper. Go! I think that the skyscraper is going to do pretty good. I don't think it'll fall from this. Because it looks like, like it just kind of deflected the pyramid. And now the pyramid is meaning, meaninglessly flopping about. Oh, there it goes. It, it, this thing is very, very unidentified flying object-y. I wonder if there's a way for us to take this down from the sky. Because it is very tough looking. All right. Now, John G made a very simple construction. It's called the attack drone. And it says its purpose is to crack the armor of large sky bases. It's kind of hard to use. Basically, what you have to do is you have to fire it off right when you spawn it. So we're gonna spawn it, we're gonna aim it up right about like this, like this, and then we're gonna shoot it off. Now I don't know if it'll arc upward or kind of like what it does. I do not think we're doing any damage to this thing. <laughs> you can fly You can fly this drone around. It is just really, really hard. Like it, it just goes catawonky all over the place. Go down sky base. Go down! Oh, <laughs> what a close call! I, I don't think I don't think we're doing any damage to this thing, man. I mean, like, are, are we getting there? It's kind of scraping the underside, but it's just juking and banking out from the bottom of it. Yeah, it just got smushed. Maybe the fastest. Hold on, we gotta find out what would happen when the world's fastest lunch launches at this thing. All right, world's fastest lunch versus the giant pyramid of doom, otherwise known as Gray Still Plays Processor Explodicates, The Reckoning. Let's freaking do this. Oh, oh no, I went. I hit one of the tiny little little things on the side of the road over here. Crap. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, the speed. Oh, I think I'm going to hit one of those things again. Will it be okay? Yes. Nope, crash the game. All right, we're gonna try it one more time, but I'm gonna slow things down even further this time. I think what's happening is the computer is making too many calculations, and that's why everything goes haywire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get close, and then I'm gonna slow it down, way down, more, like right here. All right, let's see what this does. This will pro this may still, yeah. See, at this point, whoa. <laughs> it still did some damage. I was gonna say, at this point, the physics are probably so slow that it's not really gonna do the damage it should. But at full speed, just like the, um, just like it did to the, uh, the giant boat, the Athena, it, it would just teleport through the object. So, this is the shield prototype by John G. Ah, uh, I honestly don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, I think that everything is like gyrating like atoms and it will protect you from something that's incoming. So we're gonna have to drive a really fast sandwich at it. I really don't know what's gonna happen here. Uh, like I'm trying to formulate this thing while the, nope, totally missed. Well, it just went through the shield. It went through the shield so fast I couldn't even see it. I mean, I'm gonna try it one more time. It's trying! It's trying! Oh, we, we banged through the shield! 
No way, that was like some Millennium Falcon level stuff over there. It went right through all the little bricks, like just barely twisting and turning. Oh man, there, there's been some really fun destructive creations today. The time has come, as you all knew it would. Several of the crash testers, and just a, a squad of people, because why not, is going to go up against the sandwich. World's fastest lunch launching in T minus three, two, one, go. Oh, here we go. As long as it stays online. Oh, is it going to curve out? I think it's going to curve out. Yeah, I can't, we can't have it curve out. We have to make sure it hits, so I had to reset it. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Here we go. Oh, no. oh my camera just went through the crowd for some reason. Look at the bricks. Look at the force. It was like a shotgun blast. And all of the cars, all of the people, well, some of them are still around. But all the cars, most of the people, it all just goes flying in a giant shower. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs, where we got to check out some very, very destructive creations. I love the hammer, man. Need more hammers. Need big hammers. Anyway, guys, until next time, stay foxy and much love.